and welcome back to Bay Sunday. It's going to be a beautiful day today, everyone. I hope you do enjoy it. Well, they say education is the key to success, and no one understands that better than the Chicana Latina Foundation. I believe it's actually, yeah, the Chicana. Yeah. And uh, what they're doing is getting hardworking young Latina women into scholarships, and they're being taught to be leaders. It's making a big difference. Please welcome this morning Alicia Orozco, the coordinator for Getting Latinos Connected, and from the Chicana Latina Foundation, and one of their students is Vanessa Rivas. Hi there to both of you. I wanted to make sure I didn't say Chicano at first. It is the Chicana. Yeah, it's very it. important, <laughs> right? Good morning. Alicia, maybe you could tell us about the foundation. Well, the foundation was founded in 1977 by uh, three women mm. who uh, wanted to help other Latinas. They were graduates of the university and they wanted to help other women come into that world. Um, we currently, this year, we have 31 women who went through the process and were chosen. They have received their scholarship and went through our Leadership Institute. And Vanessa is one of them. That is just amazing. How did you find out, uh, uh, Vanessa, about this foundation? Well, definitely it's been through friends. Uh, when you come to a school like Berkeley, you often feel isolated and very alone. It's likely to get lost, especially if you're in a community that is not a majority in the school. So definitely the network I developed with friends that established that sense of community and they introduced me to the scholarship and now I have a whole sisterhood. <laughs> and why did you feel so isolated? Definitely coming from, I am from Mexico, and coming to Berkeley, you're a minority. Mm -hmm. Everybody is very different from yourself. I'm also undocumented, so that makes a big difference with, between the peers I have in classes and myself. So I always felt like I had my undocumented self, and I'm also interested in the environment. So it, it's likely to feel alone, but um, definitely and this. You're a junior, yes. right? And what's your grade point average right now? 3.4. Excellent. <laughs> Perfecto. Okay. Yes. Now, I, I want to ask you, how do you get the word out? Do you have town hall yes. meetings? Or? Well, uh, we do. For the scholarship, we go to the university and do presentations. Uh, for Get Latinos Connected, which is one project that I am uh, working on, is um, we do town halls. We announce, we come and find out how to get resources for low-cost internet service and low-cost computers. Wow, look at that room. It's filled with people. Isn't that beautiful? Lots of people. You we, got the word out. And people were out the door, really. This was an incredible thing. Out of there, this was in Salinas. We connected almost 500 families who had never, ever had had a computer at home or internet service. You know, it sounds remarkable to a lot of people that it's like 48% of the Latino families do not have a computer, but my mom and dad, Latino, they didn't have a computer until I took them one as well and then go. try to teach them. That's right. <laughs> That's right? right. So yes. you actually gave a computer away to a family? Yes. Mm. Our, for, we've been doing this now for four years. The first part, we gave them away for free because there was money in the project for that. This time there was and we fundraised and now we make them available for a donation of $50, a laptop that comes fully loaded. And that money gets turned around for more computers and the families love the fact that with their $50, they are empowering another community. So here family. is the, Chiquin, the Chicana Latina Foundation. i got to slow myself down because I start <laughs> getting ahead of myself here. You have the Chicana Latina Foundation, and you're giving out scholarships. You're giving out computers to yes. families in need here. Yes. And all this since 1977, you're making a difference. Yes, I, we feel so. Yeah. And I think that out of um, the work that we've been doing, tells us that. We see, we will see a picture, I believe, of a family who received a computer. Mm -hmm. Computer and internet are only tools to participate in the 21st century. There is right now a digital divide, a digital divide of knowledge, opportunity, and choices. Well said. And Vanessa, what would you say to other Latina girls trying to get a great education? I would say to keep pushing it and honestly the best thing you could give to people is your support and you've been through stuff yourself but you also know that there's others that are going through the same thing so just open up speak to others and share your past your present and your future with others and that will definitely inspire you that's what I got from the Leadership Institute a sense of sisterhood that I never got before and that's where I am now that is amazing very well said I think I want to know more about the chick 
the Chicana. I keep wanting to say the Chicano. I don't know why. And I think because it's been a man-driven <laughs> world yeah, and and my Hispanic world, mm -hmm. it certainly has been. But it's the Chicana Latina Foundation. If you want more information, all you have to do is call that number right there or visit us online with your computer, ChicanaLatina.org. That does it. Thank you yes. so much. Thank You've been you. all enlightened my day today. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday and take care of one another.